Throwaway layers, clothing that serves the important but short-lived purpose of insulating the body against the cold during a marathon, such a small but important part of race day that is often overlooked. For the next 26.2 miles, I will be pushing my body to its absolute limit in the San Francisco Marathon. At the same time, I will be removing one article of clothing for each mile and throwing them away as I go. The question is, will I be able to fit 26 pieces of clothing on my body? And will I even be able to make it to the finish line? This is without a doubt my hardest challenge yet. There's no going back. It's just me, my clothes, and my first marathon ever. I'm coming up on mile one here. I'm about to take off my first sock. I should probably let you guys in on my game plan. My goal is simple, to run a sub four hour time and to finish wearing this outfit. So I'll be layering five pairs of socks, five pairs of sun sleeves, five headbands, and one t-shirt. I'm not too sure in which order I'll be taking them off in, but I'll figure that out as I go. I'll have to figure that out real soon because I'm about to finish mile 2. I think I'm just going to focus on taking off my socks for now, which should lead me into mile 11, where I can take off the clothes without having to stop. Although it seems like I have a plan figured out now, what I'm most worried about at the moment is wasting a bunch of time with the socks. And, because I'm a genius, I double knotted my shoelace at mile 3. I'm approaching mile 4 here. I'm sweating by quite a bit, which is probably because of the many layers I'm wearing. But I'm just trying to stay hydrated so I don't cramp up. Those are some famous last words. You'll see later in the video. But for now, watch as I deal with the consequences of my action from mile 3. This freaking double knot in my shoe. If running with 26 extra layers isn't already hard enough, this course also happens to have a bunch of hills. And when I say a bunch, I mean a bunch. So not only does my body feel heavy, my quads are killing me. Mile 5, 21 more layers and miles to go. Thank you. Who knows if I'm going to run another marathon, but I'm just trying to remind myself to enjoy the view. Look at that view. My legs are kind of sore though, not gonna lie. Lucky for me, I'm not the only one running this race. My wife and my friend are coming along for the ride. So why did you decide to run the marathon? First, I did it because my friends were doing it, but during the training block, I injured my knee and I'm here to run because I want to prove to myself that setbacks don't define me. My wife is truly inspirational. Meanwhile, I'm out here running to see how many layers of clothing I can fit on my body. Mile 7. I can tell that my feet are feeling lighter. I'm just looking forward to mile 11 when I don't have to stop to cut the layer. But I'm not about to let these clothes defeat me. Mile 8, my strategy for hydration is pretty simple. I have my water pack, I have my coconut water, and occasionally I'll stop by the water stations. I'm officially a third of the way done. Things in my body are starting to hurt. Having to stop and then start back up really messes with my ability to enter a flow state and block out the pain. But things were about to change as I was coming up on mile 10. Mile 10, that was the final sock. No more stopping. Now I'm left with 5 pairs of sun sleeves, 5 headbands, and 1 shirt. We're really cooking now. It's past mile 11. I'm trying to figure out which layer to take off next. I think I might take off the t-shirt so that my sweat can air out. Mile 12. I'm feeling a lot of pressure in my head and my arms, but I think I'm gonna tackle my head first. So I'm gonna take off the headbands. And for the next three miles, as I ran across and off the Golden Gate Bridge, I could feel the pressure on my head slowly going away. Speaking of pressure, let's check in on how my legs are doing. I thought like going incline was hard, but I feel like going decline is harder. It's so hard on my knees. My knees were the least of my worries. It was around this time when my quads started cramping and I had to slow down and rethink my plan. Just past mile 16, a change of plans. I think I'm gonna attack the sun sleeve now and leave the headband on so I can absorb some more sweat away from my face. Thank God it's going downhill now. I thought I hated downhill, but my legs were cramping, so going uphill was such a pain. At this point, my legs have threatened to cramp up multiple times. My left quad is about to cramp, and my right 
hamstring is about to cramp, but let's keep going. My pace has slowed down by a lot. I'm pretty much half walking and half running at this point. Things are going dark. I want to give up. And at this very moment, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I found myself a running buddy. All of a sudden, I was reminded of my wife's motivation to run the marathon. During the training block, I injured my knee and I'm here to run because I want to prove to myself that setbacks don't define you. And so, I wasn't going to let the setback define me. So let's tap this poster and move on forward. has been the farthest I've ran in training. Hopefully I can push through the end. It's all mental now. 21 miles in. I've slowed down considerably. But hey, there's nothing you can do about it. I'm like on the verge of cramping. So my strategy right now is run a little bit, walk a little bit, run a little bit. But my wife, Mandy, she's ahead of me and I'm so proud of her. At this point, I was running on fumes. I was no longer enjoying the amazing scenery and instead was fighting just to cross the finish line. But that's when this happened. Alright, fresh okay. I'm not much of a drinker, but the extra sugar and carbs was exactly what I needed in that moment. A little alcohol to help numb the pain didn't hurt either. In the end, I didn't finish with the goal time I set for myself. And that's okay. Finishing is already an accomplishment in itself. I ended up with a time of 5 hours, 2 minutes, and 43 seconds. And hey, who else can say they finished a marathon wearing 26 articles of clothing? 26 miles and 26 articles of clothing. Done. All we need now are final words from my wife. Tired. That's it? Yeah, you tired won. and tired you and very won. accomplished. Yeah. You beat the boys. You beat the two boys. You still want girls rule, boys rule. I'm proud of you. Thank you.